Hi there, I'm Tom Kravitz, and I'm the author of the book, Ranching Like a 12-Year-Old. So I get many questions about how to determine the grace period. And so what? that's what the video is here today that I'm going to do. I'm going to explain that. Uh, but first, let's talk about, I'm just going to share how I stumbled upon this. So uh, I think it was in uh, 2004. I was grazing a herd of two and a, uh, 250 uh, cow-calf pairs, and I had a uh, paddock that I figured would last about five days. And I was going to strip graze uh, as I'm going down the paddock. Uh, I was, you know, I'd come back from uh, holistic management, and this was one of the tools that was uh, uh, suggested that we use to increase uh, herd density and, and herd effect. So what happened was um, I had the, the paddock set up, like I said, for five days. And then the cattle, uh, they had to walk down an alley and go to uh, solar water. So I gave them the first strip, uh, the first strip day one. And then they walked back to the water and they came back. And then day two, uh, I spooled up the poly wire. They had another strip. Walk back for water. They had to go through paddock one, walk back for water, and they went back to the second strip and they grazed there. Then day three, I did the same thing, spool up the polywire, cattle grazed there in the third strip. And then they walk back to water, come back, and they're grazing in the third strip. Day four, spool up the polywire wire, they all go into the fourth strip, they graze, they walk back for water. And instead of going back to the fourth strip, they ended up stopping in the first strip. And I was wondering, what the heck is going on? And then I realized there was enough regrowth in that first strip that they could take another bite. And it was like ice cream to them. So they just stopped there. And they did not go back up into the fourth paddock, or the fourth strip, I should say. And then day five came along and like only four cows uh, went into the fifth strip because they they stayed in that first strip and second strip because there was enough regrowth that they were able to take a bite. So that's how I stumbled upon it. it was, I wasn't brilliant, it was I'm not like a rocket scientist or anything like that, and I came up with it. The cattle just showed me, and like I said, it was luck, but uh, I'm pretty happy that uh, I was there to observe it. So anyways, let's, uh, I'm just going to show you with this flip chart and, this di and the diagrams how, um, uh, how to go about doing this on purpose. So this is exactly what I was uh, set up with in 2004. So we had this paddock here. And like I said, I figured that there was going to be enough for forage there for five days. So permanent fence on the outside. There was the alley right here, and then just down here, there was uh, the solar water. So here the cattle were uh, day one. You can see these the dotted line that re represents the polywire. So I gave them that the first day. The cattle walk back for water, come back, and there they graze. And then day two, I'll just get rid of that. Sorry. Um, day two, I spooled up the poly wire and I gave them this strip and they ended up uh, grazing there. And then they just came back for water and came back and grazed there. All right, so now getting um, on day three, uh, you can see spooled up the temporary wire, this uh, poly wire and let the cattle into this third strip and there they grazed and then they just came back for water and went back and grazed here in the third strip. Now here's where the interesting thing happens. So on day four, day four, whoa, on day four, um, I spooled up the temporary wire and they all came into 
this fourth strip. And they graze there. And then when they need to go back for water, come down, they went for water. And then they came back. And lo and behold, they stopped and gra started grazing here. And I was wondering, what the heck's going on? And then I realized there's enough regrowth here that by day four, they were able to take another bite of new growth. They were able to overgraze. And they didn't go back up here. And here, I'll just show you what happened on day five. Day five, I spooled up the polywire. And I called them and maybe four cows came and checked out what was in paddock or in the fifth strip. The rest stayed down here in the first and second strip where there's new regrowth. So again, just to reiterate, do not graze the, the graze or do not violate the graze period and do not violate the recovery period. Those are two things uh, that just don't do it. And uh, if you want some more information, a little more detail, you can go uh, to my webpage, simplyranching.ca, or my Facebook page, and buy my book, Ranching Like a 12-Year-Old. Also, if, uh, if you like this video and you want to see some more, uh, I have some animal handling videos. I have, uh, yeah, quite a few different things. Um, my YouTube channel, Ranching Like a 12-Year-Old. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.